Welcome to the 8th Annual ACMI Holiday Show. We're excited to start this episode with some important news. Santa's making a special trip to visit ACMI Studios. Let's make sure we're prepared to give him a big, warm welcome. If we move some set pieces and splash some colored lights just right, we'll have ourselves a beautiful space for Santa. Let's check back and see Santa at the end of the video. For now, let's welcome local Arlington creative Peggy Fenner with two fun wraps. Take it away, Peggy! Hi, here we are for the holidays at ACMI, and I have a couple wraps for you to keep you happy and healthy. Not a lot of people my age love to wrap, but I do. And uh, I have one for you about COVID. So here it goes. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and buckets of cheese. Sometimes gushy, sometimes squishy, sometimes makes you want to sneeze. <gasps> a choo -poo -poo, a choo -poo -poo, a choo a choo a choo Ah, here comes the choo choo coming down the track. It's filled with COVID germs. Better stand back. A choo 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 a Wear your mask, get your shot, and let's knock that sucker off the track. A boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and buckets of cheese. Think it's fading away for good. Stay healthy. Okay. Here's my second wrap. This is just a fun one. And it's all about just like a wrap. Let's see if we can get things going here. I love to wrap. It helps me to unwrap. All the stuff and all the junk I keep hidden under my hat. And I also love the holidays. They help me to unwind. I just wrap myself around family and friends and have a holly good, jolly good, hot cocoa, old time. And you too. Happy holidays from ACMI. Was great, Peggy. <laughs> Turns out Mrs. Claus beat Santa here. She's here at the ACMI studio and will show us how to make a snowflake out of, believe it or not, paper bags? Let's see how she does it. Jeff Monroe and I are going to do a snowflake for you. We'll need nine paper bags. You can use any color you want, but today we're using white. And the first thing you do is you take your bag, you need a pencil, and you draw your design template on the first bag. Okay. You can do any kind of design you want, so it's all individualized, so I'm hoping Jeff will do one a little bit different than I. Sure. So here we go. I won't copy you. <laughs> I'm going to make some triangles. When you do your triangles or whatever uh, design you're going to cut out, don't put them too close together. You can do circles, okay. you can do triangles, you can do small ones. Try not to go where the, um, the bottom part is. Uh, go above All right, the so where, the, where this fold is? Yes. So we start there. Yep. And once you get your pattern, pattern, <laughs> then you can cut your template. This will be the top bag. This is similar to when you fold yes. paper many times and cut Actually, it Actually, it is. This just makes a large snowflake make them across from each other. I didn't think I said that, but. So this is my template. All right. Okay, now Jeff's gonna cut his out. It's gonna be beautiful. Well, maybe. <laughs> There's no Leave it to me not to be simple. There we go. It's okay. There's, you can do it any way you want. Be creative. Uh, 
I, I love seeing how they come out. Because you never know, it's kind of a surprise. I might put one more little thing while Jeff's doing that. I'm put one more. Okay. I think I have my template. Okay. Now, does it matter if it's up or down? Is there a, is there a top? That's the top, yep, that's correct. So you want the flap down? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start gluing. So just a line down the middle and across the bottom. I've been doing it with the school glue, it's much easier than this. So am I putting this on top or no? Yes. Yes. That'll go right on top. That's with the Try not tab to down. myself. <laughs> Right. Okay. So hopefully it'll stick on perfectly. And obviously if you're using the school glue, it's a little bit more kid friendly. That's right. Yep. You don't have to worry about your children burning their fingers. But some kids are used to it and they have those glue guns that are have cold glue or something. <gasps> I'm not sure how that works. This is a first. <laughs> Get that on camera. I hope that was on camera. Get that on camera. What was the... the oh, my gosh. It was loose. Yeah. <laughs> blooper, blooper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to move this one aside. <laughs> sorry. That's probably... Nice. Don't forget to check the, <laughs> the tops of your glue. Okay. Yeah. That's a lesson I, we're learning today. We'll never do that again. I just want to know if this was a setup. Was this a setup? It wasn't, but the crew it could have been. Oh um, my goodness. Check all the rest of them too. <laughs> oh my God. All right. <laughs> so I now have eight, so I'm going to have to grab another okay, bag. We have point. plenty of bags. <laughs> Okay. So then you set your template, a whole set of bags on top of the next set of four bags. So it should go this through. was only supposed to be four. One, two, four three. Four or five, it doesn't matter. Well, I have all nine stuck together, so I'm going to... Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. If you can cut through it. I, I cut through nine once before. You just right. have to work harder at it. Well, I remember... If you can get through. As a kid, folding the paper too much and then not being able to cut it. Oh. So. Okay, mine's, I only got four or five on mine, so it's cutting pretty easily. I don't know if you're able to get through yours with those scissors. Yep. Oh, good. Circles are harder to cut than the uh, triangles. So if you don't feel comfortable cutting circles, just do triangles. Or oh, squares, maybe. I've never tried squares. I did a few diamond shapes here. Diamond? So we're going to see if that works. But so yes, I'm cutting through minute. nine bags. It's a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's up to the so individual that, person, whatever they want to do. So if you do four at a time, easier to cut through, and then right. you just do the template twice. Correct. Okay, I'm done yeah. cutting, so we're I'm gonna take a break away. and let these dry. And once they're all dry, because we've used the school glue, it might take 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> it's the magic of television? Yeah. So these little, I would say keyhole pieces where I tried making it intricate, it didn't <laughs> quite work. Not when you're trying to cut through nine pieces, but this is, it's been fun. I can't wait to see what happens after the break. Welcome back, everybody. Jeff and I are ready to reveal our snowflakes. I'm going to have Jeff go first. Go oh, ahead, Jeff. sure. Just so, pull it from the top. And keep, oh, this is so cool. Keep unraveling, and you go around. Sometimes well, it sticks. Some of it's a little... I did have that little <laughs> glue spill incident. <laughs> so basically you want the openings of the bags to open. I see, this is great. 
open. Oh, beautiful. All right. This Look is great. at that. That is really nice. This Jeff. is wild. <laughs> see if I have as good luck as Jeff did. Sometimes it sticks together. You have to just give it a little shake. You can use your glue or you can use double stick tape. I'm going to try the double stick tape. Every day. See where it There you go. So I'm doing the double stick tape on this one. And then Jeff is going to. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to squish it together. The beautiful it's snowflake. Easy. Jeff is using the super hot glue gun. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be doing it. <laughs> close up of the glue. <laughs> so, this is a special glue gun that melts it from the back side. <laughs> All right. So, this glue stick was not. Uh, glue right. guns can be awkward. So the double stick tape. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully there it doesn't. Hey, okay. I love it. This that is great. That is beautiful. See all well, the in intricacies that Jeff made on that one. So what you do is you take one of these and you make a hole. You can do it like this, two together. Make your hole, put a ribbon or a string through it, and then you can hang it up from your ceiling, from wherever you want to hang it from. I hung mine in my window. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Claus, for having me on your show today. Thank you, Jeff. Right. See you next year. Wow! Thanks, Mrs. Claus. In case you haven't heard, there's a new show in the works at ACMI. It's called Arlington Lifestyle. We hope you'll tune in and watch the pilot episode, the show that looks at topics of home decor, fashion, and cooking, with a thrifty twist. Just look for it on the AC My Public channel or on our YouTube channel. This first episode is holiday themed. You'll have to tune in to see how my marshmallow snowman turned out. Now that we're at the end of our show, I promise we check in on how Santa's trip to ACMI went. Let's take a look. Wow, looks like he had a lot of visitors. Thanks so much for watching this year's holiday show. From all of us at ACMI, we wish you a happy holidays.